President Biden is set to arrive in the Middle East in a matter of hours. It's his first visit there of his presidency. We expect the uh, president to reaffirm relationships with Israel and Saudi Arabia. Some have been critical of the trip, though. News 8's Amisha Ramsey is joining us now with details. Amisha? Good morning. Well, there's a lot of pressure surrounding this trip as the president aims to bring Israel and Saudi Arabia closer. Now, president Biden plans to pursue an expansion of growing Arab-Israeli security and economic ties. He'll spend three days in Israel first. There, he will get a briefing on the country's new missile defense system and attend several meetings to make progress on Israeli and Palestinian relations over the span of three days. The president will then travel to Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Israel, Israel has pushed President Biden to mend ties with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salem, who Salman, excuse me, who is excused of ordering the murder of Washington Post journalist and Indiana State University graduate Jamal Khashoggi. On the president's campaign trail, Biden called the kingdom a pariah for human rights abuses, as President Biden has called the region essential to global trade. As U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says the trip is critical to U.S. safety. We have to work on increasing the prospect for peace in the region, for Israel's integration into the region, for the war in Yemen, as I mentioned before, for energy. President Biden heads to Saudi port city of Jeddah on Friday to meet with King Salman and Crown Prince. He'll also attend a gathering of the Gulf Corporation Council, where Iran's nuclear program is on the agenda. Reporting live in the studio, Misha Ramsey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.